Amber Amber is fossilized tree resin, which has been appreciated for its color and natural beauty since Neolithic times. Much valued from antiquity to the present as a gemstone, amber is made into a variety of decorative objects. Amber is used in jewelry. It has also been used as a healing agent in folk medicine. There are five classes of amber, defined on the basis of their chemical constituents. Because it originates as a soft, sticky tree resin, amber sometimes contains animal and plant material as inclusions. Amber occurring in coal seams is also called resinite, and the term ambrite is applied to that found specifically within New Zealand coal seams. The English word amber derives from Arabic, cognate with Middle Persian ambar, via Middle Latin ambar and Middle French amber. The word was adopted in Middle English in the 14th century as referring to what is now known as ambergris, ambergris or grey amber, a solid waxy substance derived from the sperm whale. In the Romance languages, the sense of the word had come to be extended to Baltic amber, fossil resin, from as early as the late 13th century. At first called white or yellow amber, ambergeon. This meaning was adopted in English by the early 15th century. As the use of amber grows waned, this became the main sense of the word. The two substances, yellow amber and grey amber, conceivably became associated or confused because they both were found washed up on beaches. Ambergris is less dense than water and floats, whereas amber is too dense to float, though less dense than stone. The classical names for amber, Latin electrum and ancient Greek, electron, are connected to a term lambda capital omega rho, elector, meaning beaming sun. According to myth, when Phaedon son of Helios, the sun, was killed, his mourning sisters became poplar trees, and their tears became electron, amber. The word electron gave rise to the words electric, electricity, and their relatives because of amber's ability to bear a static electricity charge. Theophrastus discussed amber in the 4th century BC, as did Pythias, circa 330 BC whose work on the ocean is lost, but was referenced by Pliny the Elder, 23-79 AD, according to whose The Natural History, in what is also the earliest known mention of the name Germania. Earlier Pliny says that Pythias refers to a large island, three days sail from the Scythian coast and called Belsia by Xenophon of Lampsacus, author of a fanciful travel book in Greek, as Basilia, a name generally equated with a ballas. Given the presence of amber, the island could have been Heligoland, Zealand, the shores of Bay of Gdansk, the Sambia Peninsula or the Caronian Lagoon, which were historically the richest sources of amber in northern Europe. It is assumed that there were well-established trade routes for amber connecting the Baltic with the Mediterranean, known as the Amber Road. Pliny states explicitly that the Germans exported amber to Pannonia, from where the Veneti distributed it onwards. The ancient Italic peoples of southern Italy used to work amber. The National Archaeological Museum of Syratide, Museo Archeologico Nazionale della Syratide at Polisoro in the province of Matera, Basilicata, displays important surviving examples. Amber used in antiquity as at Mycenaean in the prehistory of the Mediterranean comes from deposits of Sicily. Pliny also cites the opinion of Nicias, 470 to 413 BC, according to whom amber, besides the fanciful explanations according to which amber is produced by the sun, Pliny cites opinions that are well aware of its origin in tree resin, citing the native Latin name of succinum, succinum, from succus juice. He writes. He also states that amber is also found in Egypt and in India, and he even refers to the electrostatic properties of amber, by saying that in Syria the women make the worlds of their spindles of this substance, and give it the name of harpax, from rho pi zeta omega, to drag, from the circumstance that it attracts leaves towards it, chaff and the light fringe of tissues. Pliny says that the German name of amber was Glesum, for which reason the Romans, when Germanicus Caesar commanded the fleet in those parts, gave to one of these islands the name of Glesaria, which by the barbarians was known as Osteravia. This is confirmed by the recorded Old High German word glass and by the Old English word glur for amber, compare glass. In Middle Old German, amber was known as burn, barn, bornsten, with etymological roots related to burn and to stone. The Low German term became dominant also in High German by the 18th century, thus modern German Bernstein besides Dutch Barnstein. In the Baltic languages, the Lithuanian term for amber is Gintaras and the Latvian Zintars. These words, and the Slavic Gintar and Hungarian Gianta, resin, are thought to originate from Phoenician Gynator, sea resin. Early in the 19th century, 
The first reports of amber found in North America came from discoveries in New Jersey along Crosswicks Creek near Trenton, at Camden, and near Woodbury. Amber is heterogeneous in composition, but consists of several resinous bodies more or less soluble in alcohol, ether and chloroform, associated with an insoluble bituminous substance. Amber is a macromolecule by free radical polymerization of several precursors in the labdane family, for example communic acid, communal, and biformine. These labdanes are diterpenes, CH, and triens, equipping the organic skeleton with three alkene groups for polymerization. As amber matures over the years, more polymerization takes place as well as isomerization reactions, cross-linking and cyclization. Heated above, amber decomposes, yielding an oil of amber, and leaves a black residue which is known as amber colophony, or amber pitch. When dissolved in oil of turpentine or in linseed oil, this forms amber varnish or amber lac. Molecular polymerization, resulting from high pressures and temperatures produced by overlying sediment, transforms the resin first into copal. Sustained heat and pressure drives off terpenes and results in the formation of amber. For this to happen, the resin must be resistant to decay. Many trees produce resin, but in the majority of cases this deposit is broken down by physical and biological processes. Exposure to sunlight, rain, microorganisms, such as bacteria and fungi, and extreme temperatures tends to disintegrate the resin. For the resin to survive long enough to become amber, it must be resistant to such forces or be produced under conditions that exclude them. Fossil resins from Europe fall into two categories, the famous Baltic ambers and another that resembles the Agathis group. Fossil resins from the Americas and Africa are closely related to the modern genus Hymenia, while Baltic ambers are thought to be fossil resins from Cyadopityachii family plants that used to live in North Europe. The abnormal development of resin in living trees, succinosis, can result in the formation of amber. Impurities are quite often present, especially when the resin dropped onto the ground so the material may be useless except for varnish making. Such impure amber is called furnace. Such inclusion of other substances can cause amber to have an unexpected color. Pyrites may give a bluish color. Bony amber owes its cloudy opacity to numerous tiny bubbles inside the resin. However, so-called black amber is really only a kind of jet. In darkly clouded and even opaque amber, inclusions can be imaged using high energy, high contrast, High-resolution X-rays. Amber is globally distributed, mainly in rocks of Cretaceous age or younger. Historically, the Samland coast west of Königsberg in Prussia was the world's leading source of amber. The first mentions of amber deposits here date back to the 12th century. About 90% of the world's extractable amber is still located in that area, which became the Kaliningrad Oblast of Russia in 1946. Pieces of amber torn from the seafloor are cast up by the waves, and collected by hand, dredging, or diving. Elsewhere, amber is mined, both in open works and underground galleries. Then nodules of blue earth have to be removed and an opaque crust must be cleaned off, which can be done in revolving barrels containing sand and water. Erosion removes this crust from sea-worn amber. Caribbean amber, especially Dominican blue amber, is mined through bell pitting which is dangerous due to the risk of tunnel collapse. The Vienna Amber Factories, which use pale amber to manufacture pipes and other smoking tools, turn it on a lathe and polish it with whitening and water or with rotten stone and oil. The final luster is given by friction with flannel. When gradually heated in an oil bath, amber becomes soft and flexible. Two pieces of amber may be united by smearing the surfaces with linseed oil, heating them, and then pressing them together while hot. Cloudy amber may be clarified in an oil bath, as the oil fills the numerous pores to which the turbidity is due. Small fragments, formerly thrown away or used only for varnish, are now used on a large scale in the formation of ambroid or pressed amber. The pieces are carefully heated with exclusion of air and then compressed into a uniform mass by intense hydraulic pressure, the softened amber being forced through holes in a metal plate. The product is extensively used for the production of cheap jewelry and articles for smoking. This pressed amber yields brilliant interference colors in polarized light. Amber has often been imitated by other resins like copal and cowrie gum, as well as by celluloid and even glass. Baltic amber is sometimes colored artificially, but also called true amber. Amber occurs in a range of different colors. As well as the usual yellow-orange-brown that is associated with the color amber. 
Amber itself can range from a whitish color through a pale lemon yellow, to brown and almost black. Other uncommon colors include red amber, sometimes known as cherry amber, green amber, and even blue amber, which is rare and highly sought after. Yellow amber is a hard fossil resin from evergreen trees, and despite the name it can be translucent, yellow, orange, or brown colored dot known to the Iranians by the Pahlavi compound word karuba, from kastra plus rube attract, snatch, referring to its electrical properties, which entered Arabic as karaba or karaba, which later became the Arabic word for electricity, karaba no wiki less than slash no wiki it too was called amber in Europe, Old French and Middle English amber. Found along the southern shore of the Baltic Sea, yellow amber reached the Middle East and Western Europe via trade. Its coastal acquisition may have been one reason yellow amber came to be designated by the same term as ambergris. Moreover, like ambergris, the resin could be burned as an incense. The resin's most popular use was, however, for ornamentation, easily cut and polished, it could be transformed into beautiful jewelry. Much of the most highly prized amber is transparent. In contrast to the very common cloudy amber and opaque amber. Opaque amber contains numerous minute bubbles. This kind of amber is known as bony amber. Although all Dominican amber is fluorescent, the rarest Dominican amber is blue amber. It turns blue in natural sunlight and any other partially or wholly ultraviolet light source. In long wave UV light, it has a very strong reflection, almost white. Only about is found per year, which makes it valuable and expensive. Sometimes amber retains the form of drops and stalactites, just as it exuded from the ducts and receptacles of the injured trees. It is thought that, in addition to exuding onto the surface of the tree, amber resin also originally flowed into hollow cavities or cracks within trees, thereby leading to the development of large lumps of amber of irregular form. Amber can be classified into several forms. Most fundamentally, there are two types of plant resin with the potential for fossilization. Terpenoids, produced by conifers and angiosperms, consist of ring structures formed of isoprene, CH, units. Phenolic resins are today only produced by angiosperms, and tend to serve functional uses. The extinct Meduyosins produced a third type of resin, which is often found as amber within their veins. The composition of resins is highly variable. Each species produces a unique blend of chemicals which can be identified by the use of pyrolysis gas chromatography mass spectrometry. The overall chemical and structural composition is used to divide ambers into five classes. There is also a separate classification of amber gemstones, according to the way of production. This class is by far the most abundant. It comprises labdatrine carboxylic acids such as communicorosic acids. It is further split into three subclasses. Classes yon to butylize regular labdenoid diterpenes, for example, communic acid, communal, biformines, while accuses enantiolabdenoids, osic acid, ozol, enantiobiformines. Class ya includes succinite, equals normal Baltic amber, and glycite. They have a communic acid base, and they also include much succinic acid. Baltic amber yields on dry distillation succinic acid, the proportion varying from about 3% to 8%, and being greatest in the pale opaque or bony varieties. The aromatic and irritating fumes emitted by burning amber are mainly due to this acid. Baltic amber is distinguished by its yield of succinic acid, hence the name succinite. Succinite has a hardness between 2 and 3, which is rather greater than that of many other fossil resins. Its specific gravity varies from 1.05 to 1.10. It can be distinguished from other ambers by a IR spectroscopy due to a specific carbonyl absorption peak. IR spectroscopy can detect the relative age of an amber sample. Succinic acid may not be an original component of amber, but rather a degradation product of fabietic acid. Like classia ambers, these are based on communic acid, however, they lack succinic acid. This class is mainly based on enantiolabditrinonic acids, such as ozic and zanzibaric acids. Its most familiar representative is Dominican amber. Dominican amber differentiates itself from Baltic amber by being mostly transparent and often containing a higher number of fossil inclusions. This has enabled the detailed reconstruction of the ecosystem of a long vanished tropical forest. Resin from the extinct species Hymenia pratera is the source of Dominican amber and probably of most amber found in the tropics. It is not succinite but retinite. These ambers are formed from resins with a sesquiterpenoid base such as catenine. These ambers are polystyrenes. Class 4 is something of a wastebasket, its ambers are not polymerized, 
but mainly consist of sedrine-based sesquiterpenoids. Class B resins are considered to be produced by a pine or pine relative. They comprise a mixture of diterpenoid resins and N-alkyl compounds. Their main variety is Highgate copolite. The oldest amber recovered dates to the Upper Carboniferous period. Its chemical composition makes it difficult to match the amber to its producers. It is most similar to the resins produced by flowering plants. However, there are no flowering plant fossils known from before the Cretaceous, and they were not common until the late Cretaceous. Amber becomes abundant long after the Carboniferous, in the early Cretaceous, when it is found in association with insects. The oldest amber with arthropod inclusions comes from the Levant, from Lebanon and Jordan. This amber, roughly 125 to 135 million years old, is considered of high scientific value, providing evidence of some of the oldest sampled ecosystems. In Lebanon, more than 450 outcrops of lower Cretaceous amber were discovered by Danny Azar, a Lebanese paleontologist and entomologist. Among these outcrops, 20 have yielded biological inclusions comprising the oldest representatives of several recent families of terrestrial arthropods. Even older, Jurassic amber has been found recently in Lebanon as well. Many remarkable insects and spiders were recently discovered in the amber of Jordan, including the oldest Zoraptorans, Clarid beetles. Eumenicoliid roaches, and Achilleid plant hoppers. Baltic amber or Saxonite, historically documented as Prussian amber, is found as irregular nodules in marine glauconitic sand, known as blue earth, occurring in the lower Oligocene Strait of Sambia in Prussia, in historical sources also referred to as Glazaria. After 1945, this territorying around Königsberg was turned into Kaliningrad Oblast, Russia, where amber is now systematically mined. It appears, however, to have been partly derived from older Eocene deposits and it occurs also as a derivative phase in later formations, such as glacial drift. Relics of an abundant flora occur as inclusions trapped within the amber while the resin was yet fresh, suggesting relations with the flora off eastern Asia and the southern part of North America. Heinrich Goppert named the common amber yielding pine of the Baltic forests pinite saxoniter but as the wood does not seem to differ from that of the existing genus it has been also called Pinus saxinifera. It is improbable, however, that the production of amber was limited to a single species, and indeed a large number of conifers belonging to different genera are represented in the amber flora. Amber is a unique preservational mode, preserving otherwise unfossilizable parts of organisms, as such it is helpful in the reconstruction of ecosystems as well as organisms, the chemical composition of the resin, however is of limited utility in reconstructing the phylogenetic affinity of the resin producer. Amber sometimes contains animals or plant matter that became caught in the resin as it was secreted. Insects, spiders and even their webs, annelids, frogs, crustaceans, bacteria and amoebae, marine microfossils, wood, flowers and fruit, hair, feathers and other small organisms have been recovered in Cretaceous ambers, deposited C. The oldest amber to bear fossils, mites, is from the Carnian, Triassic, of northeastern Italy. The preservation of prehistoric organisms in amber forms a key plot point in Michael Crichton's 1990 novel Jurassic Park and the 1993 movie adaptation by Steven Spielberg. In the story, scientists are able to extract the preserved blood of dinosaurs from prehistoric mosquitoes trapped in amber, from which they genetically clone living dinosaurs. Scientifically this is as yet impossible, since no amber with fossilized mosquitoes has ever yielded preserved blood. Amber is, however, conducive to preserving DNA, since it dehydrates and thus stabilizes organisms trapped inside. One projection in 1999 estimated that DNA trapped in amber could last up to 100 million years, far beyond most estimates of around 1 million years in the most ideal conditions although a later 2013 study was unable to extract DNA from insects trapped in much more recent Holocene copal. Amber has been used since prehistory, saw Eutrian, in the manufacture of jewelry and ornaments, and also in folk medicine. Amber has been used as jewelry since the Stone Age, from 13,000 years ago. Amber ornaments have been found in Mycenaean tombs and elsewhere across Europe. To this day it is used in the manufacture of smoking and glass-blowing mouthpieces. Amber's place in culture and tradition lends it a tourism value. The Long Amber Museum is dedicated to the fossilized resin. Amber has long been used in folk medicine for its purported healing properties. Amber and extracts were used from the time of Hippocrates in ancient Greece for a wide variety of treatments through the Middle Ages and up until the early 20th century. 
Amber necklaces have become increasingly popular among parents of babies in the U.S. and some other countries due to the mistaken belief that they are an effective colic or teething pain remedy. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the FDA have warned strongly against their use, as they present both a choking and a strangulation hazard. In ancient China, it was customary to burn amber during large festivities. If amber is heated under the right conditions, oil of amber is produced, and in past times this was combined carefully with nitric acid to create artificial musk, a resin with a peculiar musky odor. Although when burned, amber does give off a characteristic pine wood fragrance, modern products, such as perfume, do not normally use actual amber duetto. The fact that fossilized amber produces very little scent. In perfumery, Scents referred to as amber are often created and patented to emulate the opulent golden warmth of the fossil. The modern name for amber is thought to come from the Arabic word, ambar, meaning ambergris. Ambergris is the waxy aromatic substance created in the intestines of sperm whales and was used in making perfumes both in ancient times as well as modern. The scent of amber was originally derived from emulating the scent of ambergris and or the plant resin labdanum. But due to the endangered species statues off the sperm whale the scent of amber is now largely derived from labdanum. The term amber is loosely used to describe a scent that is warm, musky, rich and honey-like, and also somewhat earthy. It can be synthetically created or derived from natural resins. When derived from natural resins it is most often created out of labdanum. Benzoin is usually part of the recipe. Vanilla and cloves are sometimes used to enhance the aroma. Amber perfumes may be created using combinations of labdanum, benzoin resin, copal, itself a type of tree resin used in incense manufacture, vanilla, damer resin and or synthetic materials. Young resins, these are used as imitations. Plastics, these are used as imitations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.